Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Today I wanted to take the opportunity to talk about some of the work that we're doing in regard to in furrow fungicides. So we, we do a lot of in furrow work at the PTI farm. We're looking at fungicides, biologicals, starter fertilizers, but we're doing some work on fungicides and I wanted to spend a little bit of time on it. And in particular, one product that we've been using called Zyway LFR. Now, Zyway LFR is manufactured by FMC. And this is an interesting fungicide. And we, we put it into our program because it is kind of a unique fungicide. It's an in furrow fungicide. And we've used in furrow fungicides in the past, but quite honestly, I don't know that they, they've worked as well as we would have liked them to. But Zyway is a unique fungicide. It is applied on the planter in furrow and FMC claims that it's going to give a season long protection. And I think that's really interesting. Now, most fungicides we've used foliar and we've had really good luck controlling disease, but in corn, we're putting most of our fungicides on at tassel time. So there are a few issues with that. The disease sometimes is already onset. And so maybe we've lost a little bit of, of yield there. Scouting comes into play, and I don't know that we scout very well as a whole in the industry. But with an in furrow at plant fungicide, we've got the fungicide out there season long, translocated within the plant and before the onset of disease. So this could give us some really nice protection if this works. So, you know, you look at the airplane on the picture, I do a lot of that at the PTI farm. We're bringing airplanes in for aerial applications of fungicides. With Zyway LFR, we're not doing that anymore. We're going to the planter and we're putting Zyway LFR in the furrow while we plant. Some quick facts about Zyway LFR. It really, it's unprecedented residual foliar disease control at, in an at plant situation. We've never really had that in a product before. And for a product to give a season-long protection, that's, that's unprecedented right there. So that's why we've you know, added Zyway to our testing program at PTI to find out if this is in case uh, the truth. And if it is, this would be a convenient one-pass application, you know, and a, a, really an application we've got to make anyway with planting. So if we could add this, this would be fantastic. Zyway contains the highest amount of residual activity of any fungicide in the marketplace. And that's why FMC is claiming that it will give us season long control. The active ingredient in Zyway is a product called Flutriophol. And I think it's interesting looking at some data that FMC has. This was uh, some data that FMC supplied to me. And we're looking at a corn plant in this data slide at growth stage R3. And R3 growth stage is the milk stage of corn. So this is almost at the end of this, the growing season for corn. But all the red bars you see on the screen, this is where we're finding that active ingredient, flutriophol, that fungicide, in the leaves of the plant. So we're actually finding it in the leaves of the plant as well as the roots in the stalk. But look at every leaf from leaf one to leaf 14 at growth stage R3, we're finding flutriophol within the plant system, within the leaves. And so that's why we're getting some of the season long control because it's able to be translocated through the plant. So how are we putting Zyway? How are we applying Zyway in the field? Well, we're doing it as we plan and we're doing it through FurrowJet. FurrowJet gives us the ability to apply that fungicide right near the seed, as well as bands three quarters of an inch away from the seed. Think about that fungicide protection right next to the seed and then right near the crown and seminal roots as well. So a really nice area for protection in regard to this fungicide. Here's some more data from FMC as they look at, look at performance of Zyway across the country. They're coming up with an average yield increase of just under 10 bushel per acre. Now there's some big wins and there's some big losses as well, but on average, 9.7 bushel per acre. What did we find at PTI last year in 2020? Not quite the 9.7 bushel. We were over six bushel on the positive side, but it, it's interesting to look at this product and, and, and if it can do what it's claimed that it can do, this looks very interesting and we wanna continue it in our program at PTI. I'm changing some of the things that we're doing here in 21 with Zyway compared to what we did last year in 20. We're looking at the advantage of, uh, advantages of maybe just FurrowJet centers versus the wings. And then I'm even bringing in Conceal. If I put uh, Flutriophol Zyway in and Conceal, is it too far away from the seed compared to FurrowJet? What are those differences? And then 
we'll look at a V10 foliar. We'll get away from the in furrows, just go to a V10, kind of middle of the growing season on corn, and then we'll go to our typical tassel fungicide applications to compare every treatment in the field with Zyway. One other big reason that I'm testing Zyway at the PTI farm is because of fusarium. And over the past few years, we've battled fusarium stalk and crown rot. And this is a situation where it's usually generated by cool wet conditions early in the season, but then takes over late in the season and causes stalk lodging. We get root rot, we get stalk rot, and we end up getting corn that can actually uh, lodge before harvest. And this is something we've seen a lot. And so what I'm trying to do is put Zyway LFR in furrow to give us a little bit of protection against this fusarium, because really there's no other way to control this in the field. Look at, the, the, look at these corn plants here, and, and we're taking the stalk, splitting it in half at the soil surface, and look at the pith. That's kind of inside that rind. Look how it's, it's it, you know, we'd love it to be as white as possible, okay? But you can see the necrosis and the rot in that, that pith, and that's where we're going to give way to lodging later on in the, in the season. And sometimes in the field, you'll just see the stalk break. We do our push test, we just push that stalk over a bit and she'll end up breaking. And so those are fields we gotta go in and harvest as soon as possible so we don't get lodging. Zyway actually has a suppression label. And again, this is why we're in, we've got Zyway in our testing program. It's got a suppression label for anthracnose, fusarium stalk rot, crown rot, and one other uh, disease we've been battling is physoderma brown spot. And, and I, I don't know um, any other really way to control these products. And so we're looking at this at plant fungicide to help with this. This is some pictures FMC sent me. Look at the picture on the right. That's those corn stalks that we, that we split in half and look how white that pith is. Think about nutrients being able to move up and down the xylem and phloem, getting nutrients in the plant, the nice healthy pith compared to on the left where we've got so much stalk rot, that plant is just dying. And that's where it's gonna give up. It can't get the nutrients and it's gonna give way to lodging potentially before harvest. All right, we've been testing emergence timing with Zyway LFR. And this year we've got Zyway LFR in FurrowJet Center. Then we position it in a FurrowJet three-way, and then we move it out into conceal even further away from that seed, all compared to a control. And you know, our control without any Zyway LFR, we're looking at 92% 12-hour emergence, which is very good. When we focus Zyway LFR in a FurrowJet Center, we're moving 12 hour emergence down to 83%, which is still pretty good, but we are seeing a, a little bit of emergence delay with the Zyway LFR. We'll see if there's any yield differences in it, but right now there is a little bit of a delay. As we go to a three way in the furrow jet, we start to eliminate some of that delay. We go to 9% delay. Um, that's giving us totals of around 86% 12 hour emergence, which again is very good. We go out to conceal, it's exactly the same as our control at 92% 12 hour emergence. So I know this has been a hot topic with a lot of growers. This is what we're seeing at the PTI farm. We'll report any yield differences we see this fall. So today's Inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is Flutriafol or Zyway LFR looks like an interesting fungicide. We're gonna evaluate it in furrow and see how it compares to traditional foliar fertilizer, say at tassel time that we've implemented in the past. If Flutriafol can give a season long protection, I think growers have an opportunity if they're already using furrow jet for some of their starter fertilizer, treatments on the planter, this could be a really good product to add to that program. And again, as we mentioned, diseases like fusarium and physoderma, those are things we could pick up along the way for added benefit. If you've got any questions about anything we've talked about today, please feel free to reach out to any Precision Planting Premier dealer or please send us an email at insidepti at precisionplanting.com. We'd love to answer any questions that you have there. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We will see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks for watching.